and the ostrich factor are population myopia, I was surprised to read about some of the positions of philosophers centuries ago, back in the 3rd century BC or 3rd century AD, who said that we have too many people on the planet, and that was a fraction of the number of what we have now. In fact, people like Tertullian said that famine, war, and disease were blessings. How could that be? Well, it isn't a new problem, you're, you're right. Uh, Tertullian was saying that we had plenty of people on the planet as things were then. And what he didn't foresee was that we would find new sources of, uh, we would tap new sources of wealth and be the planet could support a larger carrying capacity. He didn't foresee this, but who could? Uh, the trouble now is that we think we can do this forever. and. Uh, what uh, ecologists are saying is, no, every one of these resources has limits. And unfortunately, we have built into our language all sorts of traps that trap us in the wrong way of thinking. We speak of how many barrels of oil did we produce last year. Men didn't produce any barrels of oil last year. They pumped up, say in the United States, 20 million barrels, burned it, destroyed it, and next year they'll do the same thing. That wasn't production. That was just uh, pumping it and pr uh, destroying it. And it will finally come to an end when it takes more energy to pump up the oil than we get out of the oil after we've got it pumped up. Then we'll stop with a lot of oil still in the ground, but we can't afford to get it. Environmentalists advocate utilization of solar power and other appropriate and alternative technologies. Are these technologies the answer? Yes, but they're all limited too. I mean, solar energy, of course, is the basic limitation that we have. Now, we thought uh, for about 50 years that atomic energy maybe could be the answer because this can be produced by uh, certain sorts of elements in the earth of which we have tremendous quantities, so big that it seemed just niggling to complain about the fact that they weren't infinite. However, what we discovered is a real limiting factor to, to atomic energy is garbage disposal. It produces atomic garbage that is dangerous, and we've got to put it someplace. We're running out of places. You see, the latest is, uh, where is it? I guess we're putting it in Nevada now. Uh, but there's many people say that isn't safe either. Just wait until we get uh, the Nevada fields stuffed up with atomic garbage and then see what happens. See, we have nothing that tells us that we found a safe way to dispose of the garbage.